I've been given a little job by a customer to make an adapter to go on the end of this load cell. If you're not familiar with these, this is a, it's a kind of scale. So one end, that end, is clamped to a solid surface and then you put some weight on this end and it deforms the beam and there's some little strain gauges in here and they send an electrical signal down this wire to a, a little controller and that decodes the, the signal from the strain gauges and it tells you how much weight there is on the end of the strain gauge. So it's just like a little set of bathroom scales really. What they'd like to do is have this plate here on a little fitting uh, sat on this end of the strain gauge and have it so it's removable so they can clean it and things. We're going to put tri-clamp fitting on the end of here, weld it on. That will give us a nice little boss with a hole in it. And then you've just seen this little part here being made. That's going to get screwed onto there. And then imagine the plates on here, that will just go on and off and that will center it and locate it and hold it nice and steady. And then it can be taken off for cleaning. And then they also want, imagine that's uh, sat on there, a sort of protective rim around the outside. Not so much so that it doesn't get hit, uh, but there's going to be a bucket that goes on top of here. And they want to prevent people putting buckets that are too big on it so that it doesn't overload the load cell. So I drilled two holes on the milling machine, 4.2mm, and then just tapped them by hand with an M5 tap. I could then fit the boss to the load cell with some cap head screws. To attach the plate to the tri-clamp fitting, I had to make a little adapter to allow myself to plug weld and keep everything lined up. So I just sacrificed a tri-clamp fitting to make a piece of tooling and then drilled four holes in the plate, which would be where I'm going to plug weld. I had the tri-clamp fitting set up in the lathe. I could then put the plate in and use the piece of tooling that I'd made to get everything centered. You can see the holes for the plug weld are sat in the cutouts in that sacrificial tri-clamp. I then just TIG welded them in. Sorry you can't really see it, but it was a case of I need to get in to do the job and there's nowhere to put the camera. And that's what it looks like welded up. Now this is just a prototype, so I just cleaned the welds off with a grinder and a Rolock disc on the air grinder. And that's what it looks like. And they fit together like that. So that sits on there, and then we just need to make the protective ring that goes around the outside. For that I've got a bit of 316 80x3 stainless flat bar. I wanted to make a bending tool, so I turned down some stainless bar, put a M10 thread on the end, and cut it to length to make an axle. I could then screw that into the bench. Uh, when I built the welding table I welded some nuts on the bottom of it so I could screw clamps and things down to it. And then put some wooden formers that are just cut from some glue lamb worktop. And then the angle plate is going to be the stop and I've got a bit of channel and some plastic to stop things getting scratched. And the idea is to just put the piece of flat bar in and then pull it around the former to create the right radius. Now this worked as a one-off but the customers asked me to do two more of these so I'm going to build a proper ring roller and if you'd like to see that then make sure you hit the subscribe button. It worked reasonably well, it was a bit of a fight but uh, alright for a prototype but proper ring roller for the real thing. I then used a strip and clean wheel to put a nice brushed finish on the piece of stainless I made a jig to lay everything out. Uh, this piece here is just a spacer. And then our ring goes on the top like that. And I could just TIG weld it together. The load cell fits in like that. 
and a quick check with the square before tightening up the screws. They're just button head screws. And then the plate goes on like so. There's a measuring jug that sits on top for some liquid to be weighed out. The weighing tolerance is plus minus a gram, so it's fairly accurate stuff. And then the plate can be removed if, it, if they spill some and they need to clean it, which will probably mean they need a few spare plates because some will inevitably get lost. And you'll notice that the plate is slightly below this protective rim, and that's just to stop them putting buckets that are too big on the top so they don't damage the load cell. Hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.